Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Earthrise slash Kingdom Leader Class Optimus Prime from the War of Cybertron Trilogy. And this is a very, a very nice figure. And so this, so real quick before we get into the review. So I, I'm just trying to move that all out of the way. So the gun is lended to me by Apex Iguana, if I'm not mistaken. I will leave a li channel link down in the description below to so go support him. Because I lost my copy of the gun. Without him, I would have not made this video because my figure set was not complete. So, thanks to Apex Iguana for giving, lending me his gun so I can complete my review. So, just bring this back. In the storage. So, now that out of the way, let's look at the vehicle mode for Prime. And it looks very nice. I love the earth mode. Just all the nice panel lines and all the details on the side with the Autobot insignia. The silver paint apps on the smokestack side and uh, gas tanks. Wish the front hubcaps were painted to match one of the pin and two of the back wheels. But yeah, not too bad. The front looks amazing. All of the Silver, transparent blue, and all of that. The transparent blue on this side as well. So then on the back, so the legs on Earthrise, uh, on this figure, the, is my main complaint are the legs. Like, I don't like these. Because I'll bring out the Siege version in this moment, and you can see what, like, is reused, if you don't know already. It's just, like, removing gun to look at later you can see some just red just some red plastic detailing but i do love the shade of blue with the silver paint apps for the inner vents trailer hitch old trailer hitch ports on the side he does roll very well this table goes this surface is also just slippery so like everything's gonna be like sliding around yeah so putting off prime to the side taking a quick look at the blast real quick this is it in like storage mode and the, as you can hear it just like clips in to the to fold in half and to transform it you just unfold it and you have the full barrel i do love the detail on this much better improvement from the siege version and then the two ports are helpful for storage, other than that, I do wish they were the same color. And I wish they would have molded this in black plastic, not uh, gray plastic with black paint, because that just boosts up the price a little bit, and it's really not necessary. But well, that blaster looks good in like, the back, and yeah, so that's the blaster. And then looking at the trailer real quick, it is very nice to love the blue with the Autobot insignia. There's a little stripe on both sides. Then I do like how there's at least the kickstand. Because the trailer just stand up by itself. Might not be the most stable, like, you know, a little, a little bit too forward. Like, sometimes when I've been messing with it, I push on it a little too hard. Like, pushing it backwards and it just falls over. And just, just be warned of that. And the back. Wheels are painted, which is nice. You can just get some like other details and stuff on the door. And this is where the shield comes out of with the like the Wolf of Cybertron connection. You just take the shield out. It's not bad. Could be much better. Could just leave the door the same too, but you no. Know, it is what it is. Then opening it, you can see the inside. This looks quite cool, and for like, for like, stop motion or whatever, you can fit the cliff jumper mold inside the car, and that's about it, I mean inside the trailer, and that's about it, but yeah, it does look quite nice, it's fun to have the car stored in the trailer, just slide it out. Then, as you can see, it splits, in, splits down the middle. You can open it to have the like base area with tons and tons of molded detail all throughout the side. I think it's just beautiful. 
and the little like, repair droid thing can unfold um, a hinge, another hinge, and a swivel, then another hinge for even greater movement. And then the little arms on ball joints, and you can take this off. But that's for, for that's more for robot mode. So yeah, basically for vehicle mode, we'll put it. We'll get a we'll just put everything back. It was like stand up, fold the fold the gun in half, and just put it back in. And put the trailer back on. Just gonna go through some quick size comparisons. So. We have the Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper I brought in earlier. I think it's a really good scale. I think it looks very nice. Then here is the Deluxe Class Wheeljack, which also looks very nice. And then for uh, the Studio Series 86 comparison, it's Hot Rod. I think they look nice together. Voyager, we have the Siege Optimus, and so once after comparison, I'll get back to the, what I said about the legs earlier. Yeah, Siege Optimus, and then for another iconic comparison, the uh, Siege Megatron. I think these scale nicely together. Personally, I like the Siege one better than the other side, Earthrise one. So I'm not, I'm never, I've never been interested in picking up the Earthrise one. Yeah, that's the Voyagers. And then I also did a Leader Class comparison, Ultra Magnus. As you can see, I think Fisher Magnus is like a little, he's like a little bit bigger than Prime. But yeah. Like that. I think they look like, nice together. Yeah, a little duo. Yeah, there's that. Then for the Commander class, I am doing the Rodimus Prime. So they look phenomenal together. I think they look really nice. So, yeah, that's the vocal comparisons all done. No, you did not, and you can tell on how the trailer attaches with the peg to the port. It does have a swivel, so like when you're driving it, you can pivot a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad. And then, that's what you did for vehicle mode. Let's get, we'll get into transformation and then go on from there. And real quick, before I forget the little leg situation I was talking about, is that they reuse the legs from the siege mode, as you can tell with the flaps and the uh, trailer hitch port, the, the feet design are the exact same. They didn't turn their legs around like they did on the siege. So the port that's supposed to be in the middle is off to the side, and same with this. There's also just a much bigger gap, much more the bigger invisible gap. So, if you haven't watched my, all of my Optimus's, my character showcase on Optimus Prime, you, it, I said that to have the perfect War Cybertron Optimus Prime, I would do the, like, torso, like, from the waist up, like, from, like, cut the legs off here, and go up for the torso, for, on, from this one, and then from... Like this, how the like the, these legs are designed, and just like mix the two together. And I think that would be a great looking Optimus. Like if I little back kibble, the legs look would look much better. Oh, and they shortened them too. Wow, tiny. Yeah, I just wanted to show that off before I forgot. We moved on from it. But yeah, that's just the little leg thing I had about this figure. That is really my only complaint. Other than that, 10 out of 10 figure.
Now let's get back to transformation. Okay, so transformation for Optimus is pretty interesting. First off, you want to fold in the gas canisters with that peg into that slot, just like that. They will click in. And then what you can do now is just like pull, lift up on the front of the cab and pull the legs down. Fold these flaps in, fold them back, flip the feet out, and you can leave them there for now. And moving on to the torso, you want to undo the the flap with the the panel with the wheels on it, this front panel and then the window panel on both sides. And then take the arms and move them out. And right here, lift it up and push on the back of this middle section and fold all those panels in. Fold this in half and then just extend the arms for clearance. And these little red pieces fold it in. Then undo this, put the head up, and then take this slot onto that tab, like that. Then you can fold the chest in, fold the torso down, straighten the waist, fold this down to rotate it, and fold this up, fold those in. And then you just want to open up the arm panel. Pull out the hand, and the yeah, Optimus Prime in robot mode. And here we have Optimus in robot mode. So we'll go after go over articulation and robot mode comparison. So he has a ball joint in the head that can look look up that far, down that far. He can tilt side to side. And fold 360 at the base. And then arms can do a full 360, 90 degree inside the shoulder, so the shoulder joint, which is very nice. And bicep swivel, 90 degree bend at the elbow, wrist rotation, and hands can open and close. And they do have a butterfly joint, do a transformation. Then waist joint, which is hindered by the back pack. The legs can go forward that far, back that far, and we'll do the full splits. Has a thigh rotation, about 135, 145 at the knee, which is very nice. Then does have ankle rocker tilt, and toe and heel can tilt. So he has lots of articulation, and it's very, very well made. So, size comparisons do include the Earthrise Cliff Jumper, Earthrise mm -hmm. Wheel Jack. Let's go back a little bit so you can see the form. Earthrise. Hot rod. They look like a fun batch. Earth ride. Uh, siege. Megatron. Siege Optimus. Gonna have to raise the camera for a little bit. Leader class Ultra Magnus and the Commander class Rodimus Prime. So it's basically a Voyager just with a giant trailer. But that's for his overview. This is Red Optimus. So moving Rodimus out of here and then just dealing with all the figures and get on to all the gimmicks and little things 
that he can do, which is quite interesting. So some things he can do is you can open his chest to find a matrix of leadership in there. And just pop that out. Looking at the matrix looks phenomenal. Love the proportions with the transparent center with the gold, the bronze, and silver. It looks all nice. And because his hands can't open, you can get him using the matrix to light their darkest hour. I think it's pretty cool. Just storing that before they lose it. And then you can also take his gun, which you just move forward, obviously, and put it in his hand. It looks great with it, as you think. Do some pointing and shooting, and then all the different poses you can think of. One thing I really like about the proportions and how the, and how the gun is sized is that if you're doing stop motion animation, you could just have him place the gun onto his back on his own. Just have it like spin around and fold up. Then it's not that visible from the back on depending on certain angles. Other than that, it looks pretty cool for him to be able to grab his gun by himself. Like you don't need any like fabrication. You just legit can grab the gun. Then more accessories is the trailer, so we'll just Hold it, and we'll remove the shield, and we'll remove this thing. That's basically it. The shield, you can just like, bang on. You can just attach it to his arm, like that. So you got a little shield. And this guy, there's a tab, and there's a 5 millimeter port right there, and the one on his back. Touch that. And then, and you have Prime while we're all armored up with his own accessories. Which I think is kind of neat. You know? But yeah. It is quite, quite cool. And then real quick, I'll have him on the turntable and we'll end off the video. So, that's pretty much it for my review for the Earthrise slash Kingdom Morpheus Hypertron Optimus Prime. I think this is really well done by Hasbro, but the only, my only major complaint is the legs. I wish they would have just not like reused the same mold or even if they did use the same parts as the Siege for how they transformed. I think that would have worked, worked a bit better. But other than that, great figure. Love the articulation, it's great detail. Accessories, all of that is fantastic. I really believe class price point you get, I think you get what you pay for for the trailer and everything. But other than that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed doing everything you push. Go check out Apex Iguana for letting me the gun for Oculus. Uh, I will put this link down in the description. And then, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.